think we're about like two hours away from the show. An hour away from the pre-show. And I'm genuinely not too excited for Survivor Series this year. Last year, I think I was working on that night and I was, no, no, no. I was working on TLC night and I stayed 16 hours. I think I was home for this. Maybe not. But 2020 was good. 2019 was good. 18 was good. 17 was all right. 16 was fantastic. Dating back to the last five Survivor Series, they've been built well and had some fantastic matches. This one, on the other hand, not built well. Terribly booked matches. I'm not saying some of these matches are going to be bad, but there's genuinely no excitement to this show. Prior reasons, really the one main reason is because the releases of so many people within the company, and I'm still highly upset that Hit Row, the most talented collective unit in the company, got released. When Isaiah Sword Scott, before getting called up to the main roster, was inter was the North American champion in NXT. He was having a run of his career. It sucks. It really freaking sucks. But I am hoping for better days for everyone involved, especially those who were released last year. It's been at least from the names uh, so many amount of names, about 200 maybe names, almost 300 names have been released from the company, but it's just so wrong that they get released like this. But let me get on to the predictions. And first and foremost, I'm going to ask this question. Why is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Damian Priest on the goddamn pre-show? I hope I was looking at it and it's a lie and that they're kicking off Survivor Series, not the kick-off show. Because why? It's Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura, if you want to get Japanese and all literal. Why is he on the pre-show? I, I understand that if you don't go with that match on the main show... And you put the Battle Royal on the pre-show. That means AJ Styles, of all people, is on the pre-show. But you can make a random match, you know, that's for Raw and SmackDown. Or just have a one-hour pre-show that just talks about the matches. And have all the matches on the main card. No, I guess not. I'm going to go with Shinsuke Nakamura. For this match. It's going to be a good match. It's unfortunate that they had to probably be on the pre-show. The women's traditional Survivor Series match. Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. I'm going to go. First off. My alliance is with Team SmackDown tonight. Although I'm not wearing any blue. I'm going to go with Team Raw. Team Raw consists of Bianca Belair. I think there's also Rhea Ripley. Carmella, Zelina Vega, and not Nikki ASH because she's not on the team. It's somebody else, but I can't think of the name. But I think I know Team Smith off the top of my head. Shotzi, Sasha Banks, Natty, Shayna Baszler, and Tony Storm. Great lineup of women on that team, for sure. And it's going to be a good match, but I got Team Raw winning this one. I just feel like Team Raw... It's going to get the edge over Team SmackDown in this one tonight. But I think Team SmackDown is going to have a clean run throughout. Although every time I say that, they don't win every freaking year, which is so stupid. But not this time. Not this time. They're going to get a win this year. I swear to God, they are. It's the tag team Raw versus SmackDown match. RK Bro versus the Usos. This is going to be a good match. I genuinely am... Like I said, my excitement level is not that high, but this is probably going to be one of my match of the nights. Utsos versus Randy Orton and Matt Riddle. 
should obviously be a show stealer because the Usos are the best tag team in the company, but RK Bo is the best well booked team in the company. I am going to go with the Usos to win this because I think the bloodline is going to dominate tonight, and I think that is going to lead towards a SmackDown victory for the tag team side. There is a 25 man battle royal. It will be a list of Raw and SmackDown superstars competing on the show. I'm going to go with Team Raw to win, particularly the person that I think is going to survive that battle royal is AJ Styles. Gotta get a run at some point. And AJ Styles is still AJ Styles, the best damn wrestler in the world. One of the best damn wrestlers in the world. He is still top tier as a contender, as a star, as a wrestler. He should be primed for another singles run very soon. In fact, I want AJ Styles to at least be a feature role throughout the next two months, maybe three, and should be a contender towards the WWE Championship heading into WrestleMania. I'm not saying he should compete for the WWE title WrestleMania because I'll have another person that will compete for the title. I have another person in mind, but AJ Styles should be a feature contender for that title. So I got AJ Styles winning the Battle World, particularly Raw. So I believe I've already run down four matches. A fifth match. Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. Team Raw versus SmackDown. Raw Women's Champion versus SmackDown Women's Champion. Oh boy, there's a lot of heat between these two now. And, uh, yee. Who do you go with in this one? Charlotte Flair. Becky Lynch. Right now, if my score is right, I have... Shinsuke, so that's SmackDown, Raw, SmackDown, Raw. I'm going to go with Charlotte Flair. I think Charlotte Flair is going to win. I think she's the company's head person in the women's division, honestly. There's nobody that's going to be booked better than Charlotte Flair. And Becky Lynch is great, still is great, still is one of the best women's wrestlers in the world. But I don't see Becky Lynch winning this match, particularly because of the heat as well that is going to be involved in this match. Something's going to happen. People are saying that Ronda Rousey's going to appear. But I don't think so. Um, I am thinking that Charlotte Flair is going to win. There's going to be a little bit of a confrontation afterwards. There's not going to be some significant thing that's going to happen. But something is going to happen. And last but not least... Biggie versus Roman Reigns, WWE Champion versus the Universal Champion in the last Raw versus SmackDown match. That's what the that will pretty much determine the entire outcome of the show. And I'm going to go with Roman Reigns. Primarily because Roman Reigns is that dude. He's the best character, the best wrestler in the world today. I said AJ Styles was, but it's definitely Roman Reigns. Oh, the men's traditional Survivor Series match. I forgot about that one. Um, I said Team SmackDown for that match, and I'm sticking with Team SmackDown. I think Team SmackDown is going to get a win over Team Raw, although Team Raw is stacked to the core. Team SmackDown is probably going to win, and I think the sole survivor will probably be Drew McIntyre and Jeff Hardy. I think they're going to be the two survivors of that team. Uh, for Team Raw, I think it's going to be Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, and Zelina Vega. And like I said, for Big E versus Roman Reigns, this is going to be my match of the night candidate. I'm going to go with Roman Reigns. It's going to be a great match. There's some heat between it. Probably the only match that has heat within the rivalry, which has heat within itself. But, oh well. It's still going to be a very good match between two big men. It's going to be a hot battle, so I'm going to go with Roman. And SmackDown is going to win tonight. If I am wrong, Lord have mercy help me. Think of a punishment for me down in the comments. I will take any. Uh, thank you for continuing to support the channel, even after two weeks of not uploading. Um, really do appreciate it. I, it's a very different uh, setting from where I am. It's downstairs in my living room on my recliner, and... It's a lot of different pictures that you can see right here. Uh, family. And that's 
really what I hold close to my heart is family more than anything. Uh, so, and thank you for being my family, honestly. Really do appreciate it. Uh, a lot of things are happening personally, but I will save that for another time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how excited are you guys for a Survivor Series. If you're not too excited, let me know. Uh, what did you think about everything that's going on in WWE recently? I know I haven't kept up with the product in a long time. And I heard about AEW Full Gear. I watched AEW Full Gear for a little bit. I watched it uh, from the Punk Kingston match all the way to the main event. Fantastic show. Uh, but then again, I do have to watch the full show. I heard some matches were kind of dull, but, um, there's a little bit. I, I, AEW is doing great for themselves. And so, even in a sense, is WWE, but it's very tough to kind of support a company right now that's just terrible within handling. It's handling how they're going after trying to get people out of the company. It's so disgusting at this point. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys within tomorrow for maybe the Survivor Series review or even maybe tonight after the show goes off the air. Uh, peace, love, and be safe.